We are now located deep in fish, rice, and silk country. With over 6,000 years of history, this is the number three ranked Chinese ancient town. Welcome to Wujian. Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos traveling around China and doing some wild travel challenges. And today, I'm here in Wujian with my buddy Chen. Hi, everyone. So, Chen, tell everyone, what is today's challenge? We're gonna make an amazing race. Today. Amazing race, that's right. So, we're gonna be racing from the Shuchang Pickle Workshop all the way to the Nantang Bridge here in Wujian. But it's not just as straightforward as that. During the race, there will be a series of challenges that we have to compete in. You can skip ahead a minute or two to see the amazing race. But first, here's everything you need to know about Wujian, AKA the Venice of the East. For 1300 years, this sleepy little town has been located near the end of the Grand Canal, a key link of culture, transportation, and economics between North and South China. And it was this canal which some say is the longest and oldest artificial river in the world, which oversaw the growth of Wujian to a prosperous water town of 100,000. And while Wujian has four different scenic areas, including Beija, literally translated as North Grid, Nanja, Dongja, and in my opinion, the best place to immerse yourself in the magnificence of old Wujian is Shija. Side note, it's also the perfect place to conduct an amazing race. Shija is a maze of boats, cafes, pagodas, fabrics, giant bowls, ancient movie theaters, and soy sauce breweries. So now it's race time. The start and the finish line of the race are set, and along the way, there are three challenges that we'll have to complete, okay? One is, again, this is the land of fish and rice. So we're gonna have to stop by Yongpin Fentuan Pu, a famous uh, rice cake shop, and you're gonna have to down a rice cake before we get to the finish line. Okay, number two, we'll have to obtain and memorize uh, a stranger's phone number. And we cannot use any external devices, any written devices, any technology. We can only use our noggins to memorize the phone number. This is important because once a person finishes the race, in order to win the race, they have to call the stranger whose phone number they memorize, and the stranger has to pick up the phone in order for that person to win the race. And the number three challenge is to stylize yourself in the best, most amazing, most beautiful Wu Jen style attire. So, you think you can do that, Chen? Yeah, of course. I'm excited. Okay, awesome. All right, we are beginning the race in three, two, one, go. Again, if you haven't realized, there's a lot of people out and about because it is a Dragon Boat Festival. It's just around Dragon Boat Festival. And so it is a truly an obstacle course, obstacle course here in the ancient town. Uh, Ronnie behind Noah. I will run across there as soon as possible. No, he passed me. I'm really gonna have to pick it up because I totally went the wrong way. Chen passed me. I have no clue where he is now. I'm guessing he's got quite a sizable lead on me. But my strategy is, okay, I'm going straight for the rice cake um, because I think there's gonna be a long line for the rice cake. Now my plan is to uh, get to the food store to, to get a rice cake first. Okay, I've made it to the rice cake shop right here, and Chen is not here, so I'm taking that as a good sign. Uh, 你好, uh, 请问, uh, 我正在, uh, 做一个, Hi,好,hello,我正在做一个挑战,我需要得到陌生人的电话号码。幺三五零。幺三五零。Oh,是,alright。No way. Okay, I got my rice cake, but I'm still memorizing this phone number. It's one, one, three, five, zero. 你好, 
，呃，是这样子的，我现在做一个挑战。然后呢，我要记一个电话号码，你可以帮我一下吗？我大概是十分钟之后，我会大概打一个电话给你。然后你如果能接到的话，我就能赢这个挑战。我在跟我在跟他比赛，他也在那里，可以吗？啊、嗯，可以。So you got this shirt here. I'm gonna buy this shirt. This shirt 多少钱？多多多少钱 ？No way! You're in the same store. So much for sure. 怪真是真，男的衣服。Dang it! I'm buying it. I'm buying the shirt. Yes. Oh, that, that's oh, okay. Thank you. 这是 bridge right there. I'm gonna make it. Finish my rice cake. Standing on the bridge. So here we are in front of the the Wujin Water Theater, a, a perfect spot as a, an audience has amassed here to celebrate my victory. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> And okay, phone number for the win. Remember, as long as I remember the phone number, and the other person picks up the phone, then this one is in the books. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's a real ringtone. Ah, 你好，你是我刚刚呃见见到的。Oh yes! 谢谢谢谢你，我赢了。哈哈，拜拜。拜拜。谢谢。There you have it. When you ask any normal person, "Hey, do you want to race me across this Chinese town packed full of tourists?" their answer is simply, "Hell no." But Chen is a good friend, and to make it up to him for engaging in my silly antics, we're now doing Wu Jen Chen style, going off the grid, at least off the West grid, and exploring some of the lesser known parts of Wu Jen, starting with Nanja. Here in Nanja, I can sense the feeling of the residential areas. It's not that fancy, but it is very true. Like when you want to know the person, you can't just see his clothes. You need to see his heart. You need to see his inside. I feel like Nanja is the inside of Wu Zhen. So Chen, we've raced across the Venice of the East.、Uh, we've spent the last 36 hours or so soaking from head to toe, and I think we've painted a full picture of all sides of this beautiful town called Wujen. Yeah. And yeah, if you don't mind, I, I think this is this is a good time for us to to reflect on what's been a, what's been a beautiful trip for me. Like Shija, when I'm in Shija, I am animal. In my natural habitat, like、yeah. just free to roam and explore. If I'd use one word to describe that place, it would be abundance. That place, it's it's sensory overload. I mean, there's an abundance of people. It's packed everywhere. There's an abundance of greenery growing on the town. The architecture all around is some of the most beautiful architecture I visited in an ancient Chinese town. You look over there, over there. There's all kinds of Museums, exhibitions, libraries, just culture in every corner. And then, out of the corner of your eye over there,、mm -hmm. is an alley. At the end of the alley is the calmly shivering canal, and you can see a Wu Peng boat gliding on by. And for me, it's the it's the reason why I came to China is to immerse myself in, in the feeling of the culture, the history, the glory of this country. And I mean, say what you will about Shija, it does embody, embrace the feeling of a glorious ancient China. 
And that, that brings me to my second point, which is when we're walking around, especially Nanja and Beja, I'm a fish out of water. Like that, that is not my comfort zone. It's the real nitty gritty of Nanja, I think. It just, I, I see some stores that is open, but local for the local. I see a lot of restaurants for noodles and a lot of local foods. I really enjoy just walking around and see what are people's doing. But yeah, it, it was raining, so not that much people walking out. And that exactly showed us uh, just the serenity. People just living their life quietly. And it's like it doesn't matter what the outside world is like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just live their lives and listen to the rain, maybe in their home that we can't see. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.